It's been almost a year since the pandemic started and businesses had to close. Now as restrictions roll back, businesses like this restaurant here can open their door for more people. It's looking like the, the light at the end of the tunnel here with the warmer weather coming around. We're, we're excited that we can get back to a somewhat uh, normalcy. This is not Texas. This is not Mississippi. This is Connecticut. The governor is lifting capacity limits starting March 19th at restaurants, libraries, museums, aquariums, gyms and fitness centers, retail and office spaces and houses of worship. Social gatherings at a private residence can now include 25 people indoors and 100 people outdoors. And at commercial venues, 100 people will be allowed indoors and 200 people outdoors. Sports can also participate and compete as normal, and the 14-day quarantine for travel will serve as a guide. There are some restrictions. We are going to maintain the mask and the spacing requirements. What that means in terms of restaurants, non-theater, we're keeping that in place, eight people to a table so it doesn't become a big party. And, uh, and we're going to maintain the 11 p.m. curfew. The rollback is having mixed reactions. I felt that the, the small stores particularly the sole proprietorships that uh, could control the number of people who were in their stores, could um, certainly control mask wearing. I thought they should have remained open all, the whole time. And hopefully we'll have businesses that are viable, but that one's a little bit concerning for me. Restaurants, so it's, it's, you think it's good to keep the restaurants still kind of limited? I, I would have limited them a little bit more, yes. In addition, on March 29th, capacity limits in early childhood classes will also increase. Starting April 2nd, amusement parks can open. Outdoor event venues can increase their capacity to 50%. And indoor stadiums can open at 10%. Reporting in Hartford, Shara Taylor, Fox 61 News.